You know, I was just thinking about uh, Friday Thirteenth, the series, because watched the uh, Jason X last night with Jason, and uh, I, we were talking about uh, how Part Five and Nine, the uh, is that New Beginning and uh, Jason Goes to Hell. They're both very underrated uh, films in the franchise. Well, I think Part Five is actually one of the best and most uh the, the one that makes the most sense out of all the whole bunch like from the first one if you just count from the first one because in the first one it really wasn't i mean it was a slasher but uh more of a mystery like uh, of a who done it you know because we no nobody knew i, I say we i wasn't alive then <laughs> in 1980 or 1979 whatever uh but it, it goes back to the Part five with, um, of a who done it? Is it really Jason after what happened in part four? You know, with Tommy uh, fucking smashing him with the machete, and then uh, well, just in case no one's ever seen it because it's part five, uh, it's, it's a really good mystery of if, if you're you know just watching it for the kills. The kills are great. I think the director they said on the documentary he was he made pornos before this so it's got this it's got a different look than if you watch all the friday 13s all of them all 12 of them that's the one that stands out the most it just looks really 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 different like it doesn't look anything like the other ones and i think it's because of of who the director is and he did uh of course we get one of the greatest uh breast shots of all time uh, with with my wife, <laughs> I love that scene, and, and it's pretty brutal. You know, I mean, uh, I know when he gets the dude gets tied up with his eye thing. I guess he turns it a different way or something. I, I kind of get what they're talking about on that. Like the kill's a little is a little weird on that, but when she gets the hedges, like, and he sees her, like that's brutal. But you know, she, and then of course you get the girl that. Uh, that dances to, uh, uh, what is it? I think it's called His Eyes is the song. There is no man with no life in his eyes. I don't know, that kill was supposed to be way crazier, and they just, you know, but it was still cool. And then the opening, I mean, if if whoever is Jason, he don't get that opening kill, but it's brutal, dude. Like, it's like the scarecrow. He's like... They took my legs and I threw them over there. <laughs> they took my core torso. Torso. And they threw them over there. Like, it's pretty freaking brutal. And I, I, as a kid, I always, you know, uh, I don't know, just stood out because of the way the, the filming was. It was just a weird looking uh, film. Kind of like, um, almost in a way like part three. I always thought that the... Uh, I dreamt the ending of part three, but it turns out that the ending was was a real deal ending. And uh, I was like, holy shit, that, the ending of part three is... The dream part is, is actually frightening. But yeah, but, but part five uh, just takes me back. If I, I highly... If you watch, if you skip through two, three, and four, go ahead. Like, for real, skip them. And just watch one and five. And you'll see, like, oh... It's a mystery, like, and they could have actually done that, uh, how uh, Halloween wanted to do the, uh, like, the anthology type, like, each Halloween, it's something different, which, as we know how I feel about the, the new Halloween films, I fucking hate them as much as I do Halloween Resurrection, it was pointless, it was just bad, it's, it's really bad, I don't like anything about them, I, I try to pick out something I like, but... I give up. I don't like any of them. But anyways, they would have stuck with Season of the Witch, you know, and done what they were going to do with that. That would have been cool. Same thing with uh, Friday the 13th Part 5, to where they could have done like done like a, a Crystal Lake Tales, you know, something like that, to where, or Camp Blood Tales, whatever. And they could have been just telling stories about different things that happened on Crystal Lake or different parts of Crystal Lake. 
or it, or each time had different killers or someone portraying as Jason saying it was Jason do is it really Jason you know and we could have got shots of Jason just different forms of him and stuff like that just never really Jason cuz according to Victor Miller Jason's dead in the first in the first movie you know he's he's dead that was just a dream sequence of him jumping out of the out of the lake against the grabbed Alice that was that was just a dream you know that he's really dead and so for them to bring him back in part two three four whatever the, the, even though I love them you know that are my favorite of the slasher genre actually doesn't make a bit of damn sense but if you eliminate them all and just stick with one and five it actually makes perfect sense it actually goes together very very well like, I always say that part two isn't Jason at all. Like, the first one is Pamela Voorhees. Part two with Potato Sack Jason, that's actually his dad. And, uh, you know, the timeline's all fucked up anyways, because by the time you get to part four, it's like on a fucking Tuesday. <laughs> it's not Friday the 13th, because, uh, what is that? Part two, three, and four take place over the weekend. So it's like, part two is Friday the 13th. And then three is Saturday. So four takes place over Sunday and Monday. So <laughs> the timeline's all fucked up, anyways. But uh, yeah, you could have just you know said that part two was his dad, and then part three really because he looks completely different. He's fucking huge by part three, four, and all that. And that could have been Jason coming back for revenge for his parents. Part one, his mom dies. Part two, spoilers of course. <laughs> part two. Uh, his dad gets it and with his potato sack, potato sack, and then three and four is Jason getting revenge, and then five is a whole new. It's just a, it's a person. I won't say who the person is in case you've never seen it. But it, it, you know, and then they could have gone from that from there and done different little stories like that instead of giving us the same thing over and over and over. Which don't, I'm lo really looking forward to. That was it just. Crystal Lake Murders or whatever, something like that, uh, uh, the new series. that I'm, I'm like, that's what they need to do is do a series. And I, I keep thinking of a American Horror Story 1984, and I think some people are working on there together on that. So something like that. I, I'm not I'm not too sure on that now, but I was. And I'm like, I don't, I don't think it is because the way I've seen the poster and everything like that and some of the stuff I've read, I thought, Oh, so they're just either doing what American Horror Story 1984 did or closely resembling or there are people who are, that worked on that are working on this as well as the whoever got the rights because it's in two spots. There'll be a movie and then there'll be the TV series as well. But I think it should have been a series for a very long time because they could have done like a, uh, uh, what is that? Like an Are You Afraid of the Dark type of deal, like, but telling camp stories and could have had Mrs. Voorhees done stuff or just, uh, you know, people playing as Jason, yeah, <laughs> or just, you know, a couple killer because you know it's got a death curse. Why not? They can do whatever the hell they want on Friday the Thirteenth at Camp Blood. You know, I hope they kind of do that with this series. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I've talked to. <laughs> Eight minutes, I promised myself I wouldn't do that, but I couldn't get the thoughts out of my head about part uh, uh, about part five. And talk about nine eventually. Uh, I got a couple things to say about part, uh, about Jason Goes to Hell. But I, I'll do that on a different video. This one's gone on, you know, obviously long enough. All right, if you watched it, thanks. Tell me what you think about part five. If you've ever seen it, and... I know it's like really considered one of the worst, but uh, I don't think it is. I think it's one of the best. And, uh, you know, the mom and uh, son, the whole, what is it? Eat, eat your slop, you big dildo. That's pretty fucking funny. <laughs>